Dr. G here with naturalfoodsdiet.org. All right, today I have a can of soda. This is, used to be one of my favorite sodas, Squirt. The reason I used to drink this a lot is it naturally favored, flavored. It's caffeine free. It's got a, a beautiful can. It's just got red and yellow and green. And I'll read the ingredients. Carbonated water, not too bad. High fructose corn syrup. That's not so good. We have some videos on that. You can go check those out. Uh, natural flavors, concentrated grapefruit juice. That sounds good. Uh oh, less than 1% juice. So probably not too much of that in there. Uh, modified food starch. I don't know if that's good. I'm not sure what that is. Citric acid, sodium benzoate. That's a preservative that is, is uh, dangerous, I think. Ester gum, my gum, I guess I don't have to buy any gum today. Brominated vegetable oil. And then calcium disodium EDTA. Okay, well let's talk about brominated vegetable oil because that was the one ingredient and it's found in about 10% of soft drinks. It's in the, the citrus flavored ones. Now it's a vegetable oil that is, has the element bromine attached to it. Bromine is classified as a chemical. It's in the halide class. And the halides uh, all have similar properties. And other halides include fluoride and iodine. Uh, and actually, bromide competes with iodine for absorption into the body. So the more bromine you get into your body, the less iodine you get. In fact, it displaces it. So the more iodine you displace, the less thyroid hormone you make because your body needs iodine to make thyroid hormone. So let's see, we have high fructose corn syrup and this causes fatty liver and obesity. And then we spike it with another ingredient, the, the BVO, the brominated vegetable oil that blocks the thyroid. So it sounds like the soda companies are trying to drum up business for the weight loss industry and maybe they also hold stock in the mortuary companies and maybe the hospitals it's got to be one of those three that could be the only reason okay so BVO is also used as a flame retardant in plastics because it slows the chemical reaction that can lead to a fire so if you've already purchased any of this stuff uh, and let me just mentioned the other soft drinks that contain BVO, yeah, Squirt here, Mountain Dew is the big one, Fanta Orange, Sunkiss Pineapple Gatorade Thirst Quencher Orange, Powerade Strawberry Lemonade, or Fresca Original Citrus. It's in about 10% of soft drinks. Now, what I recommend is whatever you do, don't drink it. But here's what you can do with it. You take the can and you tape it to the wall in a well-trafficked area in your home uh, with a piece of duct tape. Then, if there's a fire in your home, you remove the can from the wall, you shake it vigorously, point it in the direction of the fire, then pop the top. So that's my recommendation to use this stuff safely. Now, by adding bromine to vegetable oil. The soda manufacturers can make vegetable oil stay suspended in the water. And this keeps the citrus components that they put in, you know, it's less than 1%, but they're there. And without this, they would separate out. Now, where do they get the vegetable oil? Well, they get it from soybeans, corn, or cotton seeds that are genetically modified. So it has another negative aspect to our health. Now, BVO has been banned as a food additive in Europe and Japan and also in India for soft drinks. Animal studies show BVO decreases thyroid hormone, causes early puberty, and it negatively affects reproduction and it causes behavioral problems. Now I see why those kids playing the video games act so weird. Now, Europe replaced BVO with a hydrocolloid, and it seems to work just as well, and that's a natural product with no known toxicity. 
So why don't the United States soda makers switch you over or switch over to the colloids? You know, help out our health? Well, if you look at the label of Mountain Dew, and that's high fructose corn syrup, a poison, yellow dye number five, a poison, sodium benzoate, a poison, and then BVO, as we just talked about, another poison. It's easy to see that the companies haven't replaced BVO with something safer. It's easier to see why. They don't give a rat's ass. And I'm not talking about the animal studies here. But the problem is, is we keep buying it, especially kids. What I'm recommending is you vote with your dollar and you stop supporting this crap. They will change if we don't buy it. Now, this is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and put a soda story in the comment section below. Thanks a lot.